is concerned. You can only be able to excel if you put an order that begs your speakings. God is speakings were begged by the altar that was erected by no one. So as soon as it's coming out, Shem, Yem, and Japheth, they wanted to go out and play. But Noah said unto his family, let's put an altar so that God may speak constantly. I prophesy of my life. So the basis of God speaking of a man, the first man after the flood was on the altar. The power to restrain if the flood is God and say that I'm going to take out the case was premised on the understanding of this system called altar. Whatever you see that is not working right in your life, come on somebody, let me prophesy and preach now. Whatever is not working right in your life, whatever is not working right in your family, whatever is not working right in your business, whatever is not working right in your ministry as an individual, in your territory, in your community, the first thing that you must know is that there is a principle order that is good power over all the infirmities, the cases, the negativities that are transpiring over a family or over a territory. And one or two of the principal orders that powers mostly the things that we are suffering today are called the altar of sin and iniquity. What my dad did 40 years ago in the realms of the spirit is counted as a sin and iniquity. So your first assignment as a child of God is to tear down as you build a non-materialistic altar, tear down that altar of sin and iniquity, then you build an altar of a life. You do it with understanding and revelation. Come on, somebody. You go back and you say unto God, before we speak of sins and sacrifices upon our altars, the first thing to do is to go to God, non-materialistic order. Then you say unto God, Lord, I stand on this day in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand and I build independence and altar for my family. I know that when my dad did what he did, I was not there. But I'm making a commitment of God of building an altar in the spirit. I stand and I make a commi commitment and I repent on behalf of my mom. I repent on my behalf of my brothers, those that lived before I was there. Then after doing that, then you make another commitment unto God and say, God, you know I'm not the one that is sinned, but forgive us, Lord. Did you, Jesus? That's why if you go to the Jewish history, it's regarded uh, as the richest history, a most sophisticated.